Okay, here are your demonstrative adjectives and pronouns. And you will use these things based on, you will describe things with these adjectives or replace items with these pronouns based on something's location in reference to you. So notice that I've put you into the image. There you are, there's the top of your head right there. And there are the items in front of you, okay. You can see you have two zones. The first zone that is in blue is labeled as aquí. You've got the second zone that is green and it is labeled allí. And you've got the last zone, the red zone out there and it is labeled allá. So it's aquí, allí, allá. As we go, as we change vocabulary, aquí, allí, allá, you're getting further and further away from the reference point, which is you. So within the zone, if you are talking about things that are really close to you, you would say something like this book, this computer, this desk, this pencil. Okay, that's what we're doing here with the demonstratives. Este, esta, estas, and estos are our demonstrative for these and this being singular or being plural. When you go out a little bit farther, you have that book, that student, that computer, okay? That and those are ese, esa, esos, and esas. You go even further from that, you go even farther out from that, and you've got allá, and that is like saying that computer way over there, that libro, <laughs> that book way over there, that window way over there. Okay, and those demonstratives are aquel, aquella, aquellos, and aquellas. Now, how do we use these? Well, let's say you want to say that you have this computer. If you look at the image of your head right there, you can see that there's a computer right in front of you. And if you want to say, I have this computer, we do it this way. Tengo esta computadora. Computadora. Notice that our item that we are referring to is feminine, therefore our demonstrative adjective will be finitive. It will be feminine. Alright? Let's go out to allí. You've got the Spanish 112 book out there. Let's say you need that book. Your statement will be Necesito ese libro. Necesito ese libro. I need that book. Okay? That's what you're saying. Notice that our masculine form here is ese. There is not, there is no adjective eso. Okay? Ese libro. Necesito ese libro. Now let's say you're looking through that window way over there. Miro por Aquella ventana. Miro por aquella ventana. I'm looking through that window way over there. That's what we're indicating. So it's aquella means that it's not close. It's really not close at all. It's that window way over there. All right. I'm going to pause it real quick and well, you go, go ahead and pause real quick, take a look at the sentences, make sure that you understand the reference of the feminine demonstrative adjective being used with the feminine item, the, uh, the masculine demonstrative being used with the masculine item, and again, in the aquí zone, be sure that you make note of the gender and number. So if we had plural items, you would use your estas or estos. All right, go ahead and pause it and take a look at that. Okay, now let's resume and talk about using the demonstrative pronouns. And remember, a pronoun takes the place of something. So whenever we talk about the window or the book or the computer, we won't be mentioning it again. We won't actually say the word computer, computadora. We won't say libro. We won't say ventana. All right, so let's say that somebody, we're talking about the window, and you say, hey, look through that window over there. You say, miro por, you, you, you say that you are looking through the window. You say, miro por aquella ventana. And someone says, which one? 
Okay, now you're not going to say that window again. You're just going to say that one, right? You're not going to repeat that window again and again. You're just going to say that one. So if someone asks you the question that we have here, qual, your response is going to be the demonstrative pronoun of aquella with an accent. That is what makes the difference in our demonstrative adjectives and our demonstrative pronouns. So your answer now is aquella, that one, basically. You've taken the place of it, that one. All right, same thing with the book. Now we've got to make our accent on our demonstratives. So we've got ese, esa, esos, and esas. So you say, Necesito ese libro. And your classmate says, which one? What is going to be your answer? Think about it. It's singular, it's masculine. How are you going to say that one? Singular and masculine using, masculine using one of these four. What do you think it'll be? Very good. It is ese. Meaning that one. And I guess we should put in parentheses that this one is like that one over there. This one has a greater distance, okay? So now you're down here at the bottom statement. Tengo esta computadora. And let's say your classmate says, which one? Which computer is it that you have? Well, what is going to be your answer? Take a look at it. It is singular. It is feminine. What's it going to be? Very good. It's going to be... Esta, meaning this one, right here, the one that's right here beside me. Okay, that is the explanation of your demonstrative adjectives and your demonstrative pronouns. Um, feel free to ask some questions. This is going to be a little bit tricky, but we'll do some things to um, both in the lab and in class to really kind of separate these, number one, in pronoun and an adjective and then how to do them within a particular distance, all right? Mucha suerte. Let me know if you have questions. Ciao.